Welcome back, Frack Crew. I'm Jerry with Frack Daddy Barbie. We're finally back in Midland, Texas to showcase the brand new Midland Meat Company's brand new store that just opened Monday. So let's take you inside and show you the store. And we are here with a special guest, the owner of Midland Meat Company. We have John Scarborough here. I want to say thank you for the years of support that you've helped our channel out. You bet. And guys, we are here to showcase the brand new store. Um, well, Jared, thanks for coming. Oh, you're doing welcome. this. I know we've done some things in the past. Yes, sir, we have. Enjoyed watching your channel grow oh, and what you're doing. It's kind we of enjoy watching you grow as well. Great. And I remember the first time you came in there. Yeah. The little store, which literally is about 100 yards that direction. Yeah, this we opened that store October the 8th, 2015. Okay. Let's see, our first day was just here, March 14th. This is our first Saturday in this new space. Obviously, the biggest difference is the size. Tremendous. Um, our old store is 1,200 square feet. Okay. Um, this one's a little over 5,000. Oh, wow. So um, we went from 300 feet of retail, which is what we're standing in right here, to um, 2,700 feet. Meat case, you know, what we're standing in front of here. We had a four foot meat case over there. We got an eight foot here. Pretty cool, but instead of having a ribbon cutting, y'all did a ribbon Yeah, cut. we, we did a ribeye cutting. We thought, uh, you know, I had uh, Danny here at the shop. We right. got great people. She's pretty creative, came up with ribeye cutting. And That's I said, let's cool. do that. And our ribeye's kind of the top dog around here. And, that's some of the best in the business well that's our cut you know it's been awarded best ribeye in the country right. now five years exactly. and um we really take pride in our beef now, we started ranching in texas my ancestors uh i'm the fifth generation oh wow cool so um we came to texas in 1883 came to fort worth and then kind of followed the railroad tracks mm -hmm. and, set, and ended up here in midland is kind of about as far as the tracks had gone and and this is where we made home. Nice. And so basically we're running on 139 years. The next year will be 140. Their meat has won numerous barbecue championships. When we call it Wagyu, it's 50% it's, it's Wagyu, 25% mm -hmm. Hereford, 25% Angus. Oh wow. And then I age it 21 days. I hang nice. every carcass. Where we we're harvest every week. We keep uh, fresh meat coming every week. An awesome thing we've added is this, you know, we're able to have this space. We have this big display window and my to butcher's me, yeah. back there and you can see back there what they're doing. We've got some great people obviously behind the counter. We we take our customer service awards more probably than we do our barbecue awards just right. for the fact that, you know, customer service, quality is something that we strive for on all aspects of our business. And we want to go out of our way to make you feel welcome here. To get to some of these cuts, the beef short rib, real popular. You know, around here sometimes we joke, call it brisket on a stick. Then you got our Texas strips behind them. You know, we've got so many good cuts, but I would say that one, it's it's hard to beat our strip. I mean, obviously the the best of the best, the tenderloin. Um, I wish they had more on them, but you know, right. a, a, a 1600 pound animal might only have nine to 10 pounds of filet on it. One, it's also one of the most tender cuts on the animal, but it's also the least produced. Ours is all gonna grade prime. We're, right. we're about 90% prime. Okay. And all our Wagyu stuff, it's graded a little different, but it's still upper prime. Okay. It, it's more graded on your marble scale. Right. Maybe in the strips, you can get into some seven and eights, but you're looking at probably some sixes right now on these ribeyes. Uh, these tri-tips in the middle here, they become widely popular. Um, extremely marbled cut of meat. Kind of what the West part of the United States uses as kind of their brisket. So, you know, if you went out to like California or out that part of the world, uh -huh. that's their brisket. It's a little smaller cut. I like to grill it. I prefer it grilled. Ribeye, obviously, is probably our most popular cut. It's what we're known for, just for the fact that what it's, you know, the flavor is un unreal. It's, it's right. the bite's good. You can cut it with a spoon. It's the real deal right there. We do on occasion sell out of cuts. I'm only processing so many. Right. We don't go outside our store and buy meat. We don't bring meat in here and repackage it. We're true to our word. We raise what we sell. You know, we want people to know, truly know where their beef comes from. We run all our cattle on native grasses and then I finish them on grains. Okay. In a certified natural grow yard oh, okay. up in the panhandle. Nice. It's one of very few in Texas that are an all-natural grow yard. That's awesome. 
So, um, and they're a third generation farm, a family operation, just like our uh, processor in Stratford that we use, it's a generational family operation. Okay. We're small business. Right. And we, we're all helping each other. Now into the cooler where the guys are actually cutting the meat. And what all do y'all process in this room on a daily basis? Well, I mean, this, this is probably one of our, this is probably the biggest thing. I mean, obviously having four meat cutters. Yes, sir. And the space needed for that. Um, this gives us a lot of room. You know, what's going on behind us is um, some vacuum sealers. We have Bernie and Victor over here. They're making patties and packaging pa uh, patties. Um, I process, on average, between 20 and 25 head a week. Okay. So that's what we're running through here. Um, all my beef um, comes, we got our own boxes. So you see a box like this. It's got our low, low label on it. Our other boxes say Wagyu, depending on what's in the box. We'll run these 60 pounds. The guys in here cut everything by hand. Oh wow. That's another thing. It's, it's, it's a lost art. A lot of butcher shops, they cut meat, but they use a saw. Can these guys trim out a, a brisket oh, yeah. for barbecue comps? You bet, yeah. I mean, Adrian, any of our guys can. You know, we got a lot of guys that call in. They want comp trims. Yes, sir. We kind of know what guys want. So certain guys like them certain ways. Like I said, the experience in this room is beyond anything around here. Yes, sir. And we've got the best butchers in the, you know, I think in the country sitting right here. It just works. These guys, they take pride in what they do. We have really high standards. Sometimes I do get a cut of meat that we don't like. I just soon get rid of it. I don't want it. I don't want it here. Like oh, wow. we, we strive for quality. Okay. You know, we got into them. We got all the commercial cleaning equipment. We can defoam this whole place. Um, all your stuff. I mean, it's, it's, it's over-engineered, let's just put that away, but it's, it's what we need. I, right. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Um, this is a room that we keep under 40 degrees. That's our cap. Um, really right now, it's probably sitting at about 37 degrees. Yeah. It's That's nice why they're wearing sweatshirts when it's 100 right. degrees outside. It's nice in the summer times to come in here then, right? Yeah. I don't know any other meat market that has a drive through window. The original store was a, when, when I purchased that in 2015, Okay. It was a tobacco drive through tobacco store. Oh, okay. So I didn't know what to do with that other side of the parking lot, basically, mm -hmm. the driveway. So I said, let's just keep the drive through I think it'd be handy. Probably 10% of our business is right here. Okay. Um, we got anywhere from, you know, the elderly to mothers with babies. Even if you just want a pound or two of ground beef, you got to get out of your car. You got to walk to the back of the store. You got to walk all the way back to the front, stand in line, and pay. Exactly. You pull through our drive through you're out of here in a minute or two with your ground beef oh, or, yeah. or with steaks. I mean, we, we, we do it all right here. We got yeah, a little yeah. exit door. We, we can walk it out if you got big orders yeah. and uh, hand it to you. But yeah, this, is, this has become a really, really pretty big staple for That's us awesome. just because the weather's bad. You still need to shop Oh yeah. right through the line and get your steaks and go home. John just told me something very interesting, guys, and you see the five on one of the meats, that's their Angus line. Anything that doesn't have the five is their Wagyu line. Here's the thing here. We try to be as competitive as possible. We check prices with big box stores and surprisingly right now we're cheaper than all of them. We got our beef, um, we carry Duroc pork. Um, all of our chicken comes out of Nebraska. It's smart chicken brand, really good. But. Like I said, we try to stay on that theme of all natural organic, and that's all we serve here. Nice. But and we got cheeses. I mean, it's this having a bigger case here. I mean, we've gone from a five door uh, right. reach in with 24 inch doors to I got 15 now that are 30 inch doors. So I mean, we've we've got a lot more room to do a lot of stuff. Right up above us here, you see our fish. We fly fish in every Tuesday and Friday. Oh, really? Probably the majority of our fish, 90, 90 to five percent of it, sushi grade. Perfect. So um, people come to us for seafood now. I mean, we're in the middle of West Texas, but a little restaurant um, North Midland called the Half Acre. And if you don't know about the Half Acre, y'all have to check it out. Yeah, Aaron Leslie, we've got John Vandergriff over there. Um, Aaron does all the barbecue side. Okay. Um, he's a pit master known for uh, Texas Old Dust. Yes, awesome product. So we're gonna showcase some of that as well. And then John is uh, just a renowned chef. To, um, you know, he can cook anything. So we, we've got a wide variety of what we can serve. Okay. And in our catering game, I mean, we've catered everyone from, you know, a two person in, in house, seven course meal. Oh, wow. To 2,000 plus Christmas parties. So if I called you up and said, I want y'all to cater Christmas, y'all do it? We could do it with enough time and you nice. tell us what you want. And if we got to start, you know, a deal like that, we, we figure out what you're needing and we start 
stacking the cut. Nice. Because, like I said, we don't buy product. Right. We gotta, we gotta use ours. So we got an email. It's called we cater at midlandmeatco.com. Okay. And uh, we do travel. I mean, we've we've gone three or four hundred miles from Midland. Oh wow. And um, we've done some special events, things like that. We've got cooking trailers. We've got pits. We got all that stuff. We take out to location. So we're over here standing in front of, like we said, Texas Oil Dust is now a, a part of Midland Meat Company. And if you guys don't remember. We had Aaron on the show and we interviewed him. Yeah, this is this is new to the market. Uh, we just launched it Monday, but um, we're gonna lay private label with uh, Texas Old Dust. You see the middle of meat code down here in the corner. This is natural lump charcoal made here in Texas. Um, the guy that we were, were working with, Randy, he uh, was supplying us with uh, charcoal and we made a deal and now we're labeling this. This is mesquite flavor. We're gonna have oak, pecan, I mean, I ordered a little over 20,000 bags oh, wow. to fill. So we're just kind of getting started. This will hit the retail line. Texas Oil Dust has its own website. This is going to be available on that website. Um, they're five pound bags. We like to be around the five number. That's our brand, you know, to go back to my cattle. So what does that number five mean to Midland Meat Company and you? Well, that's our brand on our cattle. And when we ran horses, we've been running horses a long time too. That's just our cattle brand. Okay. And we started using it in 1914. Oh, wow. And we brand all of our Angus Hereford cattle on the right hip, and I brand all our Wagyu calves and cattle on the left hip. Oh, okay. And it's a way of identifying. If, nice. they, if they get out, you know. It's easy to identify which is which. Well, it's, yeah, and it's, it's where the word branding kind of came from. You know, any of these, it's, it's your business, it's your branding. Well, it came from cattle. Right. Um, and we, we are, we've been around long enough, we have a single digit. So that's it's, impressive. yeah, and it's, it's just become kind of our staple. It's our brand. I'm, right. I mean, I've got ranch signs. These are some of our old ranches we run. Scarborough Cattle Company. Um, you know, that's what I'm wearing. We were just uh, recently inducted in the Texas Cowboy Hall of Fame. I saw that, that's very And a uh, huge honor for the family and all the work that has been before me. Right. And so, I mean, you're seeing full circle here and, and God's timing and what we're able to do, our calling and our responsibility. So we want to talk about one last thing that John wants to showcase, and that's honestly some of the best beef jerky that I've ever had. Yeah, we, we were able to team up with an outfit. If you see the label, it's a figure five brand, and this is how we're labeling all of our beef jerky, all of our sausages. Uh, we've kind of got our own line now of sausages, all beef sausages. We're getting made at a nice place in San Angelo called J Bar Meats. This is in retail stores. You can get it at Amarillo, at Tootin' Totems. We've got on this wall alone maybe eight or nine different flavors, but we use our top rounds. And so when you buy our beef jerky, you're getting our meat. I've never seen marbling and beef jerky like you're going to get in this beef jerky. Yeah, it's one of the few where actually you're getting Wagyu beef jerky. <laughs> so guys, we're going to call this a wrap. But guys, as you can tell, we're right in front of where Midland Meat Company started. And so, John, I just want to say, bud, you it's bet. a complete pleasure to hang out with you again. I appreciate you coming down and all your fans and followers. Yes. Kind of a look inside what we do here in the shop. This is where it all started, this 1,200 square feet. And I think we've run a little over 4 million, 4.5 million pounds of our beef through this little store right here. That's impressive. Next time you're in Midland, make sure you come down here to Midland Meat Company. We do everything for you guys. So come on down, come see John, come see the meat cutters, and spend some of your hard-earned money at Midland Meat Company.